All right, guys. I guess it's time for another sit down video. I honestly don't really enjoy making videos like this, but right now they need to be made because we need change in NBA Live Mobile. So right now I'm not making this video because I enjoy making sit down talk videos where I tell EA everything in their game that needs to be fixed. But for my sake, for your sake, and for EA's sake, they need to hear this. They need to hear, because right now I feel like I'm kind of the voice of the community. I am the biggest NBA Live Mobile YouTuber outside of QJB. And all due respect to QJB, but he's just not the type of YouTuber that's going to make a video like this. He likes his gameplay, and he likes his pack openings, but he's not going to make a sit-down video, which means... I feel like it's my responsibility. I really appreciate that Uber YouTuber did the same thing. You guys should go check out his video as well, talking about some things that they need to fix in the game. But I feel like right now, the majority of my comment section is filled with people talking about how much they hate the game, how they're uninstalling the game, how they wish they hadn't put money into the game last year, and EA needs to do something about it. So this video is basically going to be my letter to EA Sports explaining A, what they need to fix in the game, B, why what they're doing is actually going to hurt their overall profits. That way they don't just see it as somebody that wants a good game for their own sake. I want you guys to succeed. Help me help you. That's what I'm trying to do right now. And then third, there are actually going to be polls throughout the video that you guys can vote on to actually try to give EA some feedback on what's going on in the game. As of right now, they're not having any interaction with the community. So they've got the playtest going on. I believe that ends tomorrow. But outside of that, they're not hearing from the majority of the community other than on social media, which I don't think they really pay attention to. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about just broad, very easy things that we can fix in the game right now to make it better so that we can get on the right track towards having a great NBA game. All right, first thing should have been a very, very easy fix, the auction house tax. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you, EA, why that is bad for every single party involved in the game. A, it's bad for the players. Obviously, because there's no way to make coins in the game. Unless you are getting an absurd snipe, you need to be making at least 35% profit in order to make any kinds of coins. Essentially, the auction house is useless right now. Not only do you have to be level 11 and a 75 overall to unlock it, but once you unlock it, there's never anything up because people don't want to post their items because they know they're just going to be losing coins if they too. Next party that it hurts is EA. Now, I'm sure that EA thinks that this is a good idea. They're thinking, okay, this is how we're going to get rid of coin sellers in the game. The thing is, when you do that to the auction house, you've actually made it so that now coin sellers are the only people that can make coins in the game. Because with a 35% tax, the only way you're going to be able to get snipes good enough to actually make coins in the game is with a bot which is what coin sellers use. Now, I can understand if you want to get rid of coin sellers. Honestly, I would rather lose my coin seller sponsor and have a great game than have a crappy game like this and still have a coin seller sponsor because at the end of the day, the more you do things like you're doing with NBA Live Mobile 18, the more you kill the game, which in turn is going to end up killing my channel. I'm not really sure how my channel is growing right now because everything that I see in the comment section is negative. Like, I don't see anybody that's happy about what's going on in the game. So I, I love all the support that I'm getting from all the subscribers right now because for the most part, I don't really see anybody that's happy about what's going on in NBA Live Mobile. The next thing that you guys need to fix is, I'm going to say this in the most... Simple way possible. Stop money grabbing. You are pushing away your customers whenever you do that. I understand there are probably higher ups in EA that are telling you we need to make more money right now. The way that you make more money is getting people to like your game. And right now, nobody likes your game. Yes, you can make the argument, oh, Bobby, not everybody that buys NBA cash watches your channel. 
okay, you're probably right about that. There are probably tons of people out there that buy NBA cash that have never heard of Bobby Buckets. But let's think about how people find out about NBA Live Mobile. Yes, they probably find out about it on the App Store. Yes, they probably see ads for it on a few different places. But outside of that, the majority of their players probably come from referrals from friends. If I play a game on my phone and I hate it, am I going to tell my friend to go play that game? No, I would be a terrible friend if I did that. That's what is the case for NBA Live Mobile right now. I would not recommend to one of my friends that they play this game because I know it would just frustrate them. One of my roommates actually tried to play it and he couldn't even play it because the lag in the game was so fa so bad. So I know for a fact that I would not recommend this to a friend. If you don't have people telling their friends to play the game, you are losing a massive amount of free promotion right there. And alongside that, somebody does find the game on the App Store and downloads it. If they get into the game and realize, I'm going to have to spend at least $50 to have a semi-good team in this game, do you think they're going to get invested in the game? Then add on top of that, they're probably going to be lagging unless they have a phone that was made within the last year. Combine all those together, you are essentially gaining zero new customers and you're losing all these loyal customers that you had before because right now your only focus is on short-term profits and you're completely ignoring the future where you could be developing loyal users like you were last year. Like, yes, there were programs last year that were money grabby, but overall we had a decent game. There were ways to make coins without buying NBA cash and right now that's not the case. If you go to Google Play and look at all the reviews that they've gotten in the past couple days, nearly every single review is a one or two star review. Like it's actually kind of shocking how many negative reviews are up here. Uh, there are like one or two five star reviews you'll see here and there, but it seems like the majority of those are just people that don't know how to use the rating system. So they're saying negative things about the game, but they gave it five stars for some reason. So most of the five star ratings are actually just on accident. Like I've seen, I've probably gone through five pages right now and seen at least 21 star ratings for this game. People don't like your game right now. And the reason for that is that you're not listening to the community. I'm not trying to make you guys look bad. I'm trying to help you improve your game. And right now, there's been zero indication that EA has a, even a hint that their users are upset with their game. Literally, all that we're seeing from EA's Twitter is stuff about how much everybody loves the game. Oh, James Harden loves it. Oh, most downloaded basketball game on the App Store. That's going to change very soon because pretty soon it's going to be the most uninstalled game on the App Store. We know that EA is capable of fixing these issues because we have had fixes to glitches in the game. But the only glitches that we've had fixes to are ones that actually would have helped people. So the only thing that I've seen fixed is that they removed the buzzer beater ability from Markel Fultz and they removed the three point boost from TJ McConnell. Two things that were not supposed to be there. I haven't seen any other glitches fixed. We've had game changers like Uber YouTuber talk about things that we need fixed in the game. He's talked about how much the 35% auction house tax is ruining the game, but nothing's been done about that. And I know that that's not something that's going to take a long time to put into place. Literally, you just have to go into the system and change the number from 35 to 10. It's not difficult at all. And yet all that we've seen that's new in the game is different ways for EA to make money. We got the swag promo, which is basically... What EA doesn't understand is essentially now there's only one lineup in the game that people will actually want to use. Because nobody cares about building up their classic lineup. Because you can't use it to head-to-head -to -head or season mode or most live events. Nobody cares about building up their bench because they can't play with it in the game. And the boost from the coaches aren't really enough to get people to actually want to spend money on the game. So the only lineup people are going to be improving is their starting lineup for their NBA lineup. And we've already got Manu Ginobili. Which, okay, 
this is going to get me on another thing. Why are legend players unauctionable? Like, guys, you are, you're literally giving people a reason to not buy bundles. You understand that once people have a good player in that position, they no longer need any other players for that position because they don't care about the classic lineup, their classic lineup bench, or their bench in the regular game because they can just get a decent overall player from the auction house, and they're good to go. So nobody has a reason to get James Harden. Nobody has a reason to get Walt Frazier because we've already got Jason Kidd in the classic lineup, so they don't need a new starting point guard because both of those are lower overalls. So you're putting money grab content into the game that nobody's going to buy because they don't even need the players anymore, and you're also de-incentivizing people from buying legend bundles in the future because they know they're not going to be auctionable. They have no way to make those coins back. That is 100% sunk cost. They have completely lost the money that they've spent on that because those legend players are unauctionable, and it's, it's not helping anybody. Like, nobody's using the auction house anyway right now, but at least if auction or if legendary players were auctionable, people would be slightly more likely to buy them knowing that the players they get out of those could be sold on the auction house. Right now, I've just got, I think I've got like five or six elite legendary players just kind of sitting in my inventory because I can't do anything with them because I don't want to... I don't want to use them to train because I still have this hope inside of me that EA is going to make them auctionable in the future, but I also can't list them on the auction house, and I would love to go to the auction house and get the players that I need to complete the set, but as you guys know, EA made them unauctionable. Obviously, not everything in the game is going to get fixed at one time. Considering we had a list of 100 things in the game that needed to be fixed, more than likely, it's going to take a while to get all of it fixed. But there are specific things that you guys can fix right now that don't take a lot of work. You can make Legends auctionable. You can also make it so we can use more than really... Really, there's only one lineup in the game that you can use, and that is your NBA lineup. That is what you use for all head-to-head -head games, only five players that you're actually using. All that you're going to use for Season Mode, it's... It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense because that's not how basketball works. And then the last thing that you guys can do is please just listen to people about the auction house tax. Like, that is an easy fix. I can guarantee you, you would make a lot of people more ready to play the game and more likely to buy your bundles if you push that back down to 10%. Because at 35%, there's essentially no longer a use for the auction house. Nobody's trying to lose that many coins on their thing. They'd probably rather spend it on packs in the store, and I know you guys aren't making money when people buy coin packs. So there's, there's an easy solution for you guys to actually make some more money in the game. Make it so that the players we get out of bundles can actually be sold in the auction house. There are so many easy ways that you guys could be making more money than you are right now and the only reason people are watching videos is because it's the beginning of the year, but as we progress through the year and we get through all these different things and don't see any changes, people are going to continue to drop off. So I am here to try to help you guys fix your game. I want a great game. The subscribers want a great game. You guys want to make a great game. At least help us help you make a great game. So if you guys have any suggestions, any suggestions at all for the game, I want this to be a cr constructive criticism video because just hating on the game, saying that it's trash, saying you wish you could have NBA Live Mobile Season 1 back isn't going to help anybody. We're not getting the game back. We are past the point of no return. But there's still time to make this an actual great game. And I know EA is capable of doing it. The only question is, are they going to listen to the community? So if you guys agreed with this video, please drop a like down below. If you missed any of the polls, make sure you go back and vote on them. I want to try to get as much feedback on this topic as possible. Make sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more NBA Live Mobile content, and I will see you guys next time.